Welcome back to my Low Vision Awareness Month series. In this video, I'm going to talk about the question of do low vision people use a white cane or a guide dog? So let's get into it. Now, because this has a situation-based answer, I can't answer this question for everyone in every situation. However, I can answer it from my own personal experience and those around me who are low vision that I know. So, in my personal experience, no. Most low vision people do not use a white cane or a guide dog, and there's a few reasons why. Number one is actually a fun fact for you that only 2% of all blind or visually impaired people use a mobility aid such as a white cane or a guide dog. So that means that 98% of us just use our remaining vision. Number two, the way that society perceives people who are using a white cane or a guide dog. Because a white cane or a guide dog is seen by society and by most sighted people as a visual aid that someone is visually impaired, but because there's also the stigma that you are either totally sighted or totally blind. The, there's the forgotten bit that low vision people do exist. So if society sees you with a white cane or a guide dog, they automatically assume that you are totally blind. Now, I personally have been accused of faking my vision many times, and I know many other people who have also had that same accusation at them because we know how to use what vision that we still have in very beneficial ways to appear sighted. Therefore, if we are using a white cane, but we can see an object in front of us and we just navigate around it without using the cane, then those around us who are sighted may start to accuse us of faking our vision. And that's something that we just don't want to have to deal with. You wouldn't want to have to constantly face being told that you are faking a disability. Number three, it's unsafe for us to use a guide dog. Now, we are specifically talking about low vision people. I want to make that very clear because it is not unsafe for someone who is totally blind or very close to totally blind to be using a guide dog. That is not what I'm saying. However, it is unsafe for someone who does still have enough remaining vision to navigate the world without a mobility aid to then be using a guide dog. For example, I have enough vision to navigate the world without a white cane or a guide dog. There may be situations where it's a little sketchy and I might walk into things if it's an unfamiliar dark space, that sort of situation. However, for the most part, I can navigate completely fine without a mobility aid. In order to successfully use a guide dog, the guide dog needs to consistently and constantly be practicing its skills of guiding. So if someone has enough vision that on a daily basis they can navigate their own environment, the guide dog will lose its training and in some situations realize that the owner does not need to be guided. Therefore, in situations where they may need to be guided, if it's say a very dark situation that's unfamiliar to the person, then they might need to be guided. However, the dog won't have the appropriate training anymore to properly guide the, the person. Therefore, it, it can be very unsafe. So there you go. Those are the three main reasons why most low vision people do not use a white cane or a guide dog. I hope that answered your question. And I hope you're enjoying this entire series because I'm having so much fun filming it and I hope you're learning a lot. So stay tuned for the rest of the series yet to come this month and have a good rest of your day.